Hey everybody, almost forgot to video what we're up to today. So it is now about mid-February here in uh, the Eastern US and it is maple uh, syrup season time. So we are out for the first time doing some maple syrup collecting. So today we're out selecting the trees and getting them tapped and we discovered a little something uh, while we were putting them in that we didn't think was going to be any kind of an issue for us but turned out to be a problem. So this is a close-up of one of the trees that we tapped and the bucket that we have hung on here and I'll show you a little more of the buckets in a minute but when we hung the bucket this really easily comes off. It doesn't stay in the little notch that's there. So what we ended up doing is Steve took some chain that we had and he took it apart and we'll show you some close-ups of that hooked it around the tap and then we hooked the bucket onto it so that the bucket isn't going to just slide off and end up on the ground the taps that we bought are just straight taps and what I've got here is a piece of chain that I just opened and crimped onto the tap to keep uh, keep the buckets from sliding off and this is Kind of what that piece looks like it's an s hook that's been kind of twisted and i'll show you how i put one of these on okay i'm just gonna unhook our bucket take that little piece and clip it onto the tap and then i'm gonna give it a quick pinch just to make sure it doesn't come off okay and now instead of hanging the bucket from the tap, I'm going to hang the bucket from that little hook. We shouldn't have to worry about the wind blowing that off. And it's still easy enough to get off to empty our buckets. Okay, so we're on like the south facing side of the tree. And what we're looking for is a big, thick root that runs up into the tree. And if you can't see any roots at the base, you're looking for a branch higher in the tree. But I'm going to go by a root about three feet up, approximately. And I'm going to drill a hole. The drill bit you're going to use is going to be appropriate for whatever type of tap you buy. And it's going to have a slight upward angle. That's going to help the sap run out. And you want to drill a hole about two to two and a half inches deep. I'm going to take the tap, just hold it up to the hole here. Give it a couple smacks so that it doesn't fall out. And we'll get the bucket plugged in. And you can see the saps are running really good. And then I'm going to hang the bucket on our little hook to make sure the wind doesn't blow it. Okay, on to the next trees. Okay, if you notice there's a lot of wood chips in there, use a stick or something and just clean your hole out and get this stuff out of the way so it doesn't clog up your tap. So while Steve is getting this tree tapped, we decided to pick trees that are fairly close along a path that we walk almost every day to make it easy for us to be able to collect the sap as the buckets fill. Um, we're using one gallon food grade buckets with covers and we've attached a hose through a hole in the middle of the cover that then goes on to the tap, as you may have seen as we've been putting these up. Now, when you're picking a tree, you wanna pick a tree that's healthy. We have other trees along this path that are smaller um, or not as healthy, so we've skipped those. Um, and also, if you're concerned that this may hurt the tree, it doesn't. 
um, for the trees, as long as you don't tap it in the same spot every year, um, you're fine. Uh, you can tap the same tree, just not in the same exact spot. You want to go, I think it's like six inches away from the last place you tapped. Also, an important thing to know is when you tap a tree and you pull the tap out when you're done, don't put anything into that hole. You're more likely to cause disease in the tree by trying to stuff something in the hole than you are by letting the tree heal itself, which it will do. So also, Steve is drilling that one. I'm gonna take a little walk here and go find a couple more trees along the path that we can use. So we have a few different trees here. Here's one here. And this is a good sized tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set a bucket down here at the bottom for Steve. And then I'm gonna go, we have, that tree's kinda small, so I don't wanna use that one. But we've got, oh, we've got some water. Now when you're doing this, um, the rule of thumb is when it's 50 or above during the day and below freezing at night so that the sap runs. Okay. And that's the best sap. So here we've got another really big, 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 big tree. So I'm going to set the other bucket at the bottom of this one and go back and see how Steve's doing. Okay, what we're using are one gallon food grade buckets. I think we picked these up at Lowe's. I cut the plastic part of the handle off and gave it a little bit of a kink so it comes to a point. That way it hangs a little bit better. Uh, we drilled a little hole in the top here and that allows us to take our silicone tube and feed it right into the bucket. Snap the lid on so we don't have to worry about any garbage getting into the syrup. I'm gonna hook this on, plug the tube in, and as you can see, it's already starting to fill up our bucket. We're gonna check these probably tomorrow morning, and then depending on how quickly they're filling up, uh, later again that night, or possibly in another 24 hours. But we're gonna collect these, we've got 10 of them out, and uh, we'll just throw all of them into like a five gallon bucket, fill that up, and we'll start boiling that off. We'll show that process as we're doing it. Okay, we've hung up uh, 10 one gallon buckets. And what we're gonna do is come out and just check those. Um, we're gonna start by checking tomorrow morning and then we'll check later in, in the day. Just depends on how fast they're filling up. Uh, but we'll collect those. We'll put them in a larger bucket, like a five gallon bucket as we go around collecting. And then we're gonna start the boiling process where we're gonna kind of condense it all down, boiling all that off. The wood stove is always lit, so we're just gonna throw a pot on the stove and just let that cook. Um, and we'll take you along for that phase of the project. And then once we have that condensed down, we can mix all of it together, do the final cook down, and that'll give us our maple syrup for the season. Yep, we're excited to do this. Like I said, this is our first time actually doing maple syrup, so this is gonna be fun. Um, and however much we get, we'll be happy with. Uh, if we end up getting a full gallon of it, I'm sure it'll last us for at least a year. Um, but if you've never done this before, follow along with us. If you have, and you have some great tips on doing the tapping or on um, recipes for using the maple syrup once we've got it all boiled down, make sure that you leave a message in the comments and we can't wait to see you next time. So yesterday the temperature was in the mid 50s. Today it is 30 degrees and snowing. And it's supposed to snow like this all day and into the wee hours of tomorrow. So we'll see where that leads us. But I wanted just to show you why, one of the reasons why we have covers on our buckets. Uh, you can see the buildup of snow. We've got a couple inches of snow on those already. Um, and the covers help keep rain, snow, as well as bugs and debris out of the buckets. 
So we took the top off, we've got a little bit of sap. It's about this much in the bottom of both of the buckets we have at this tree. So we know we don't have to worry about emptying anything today. And with the temperatures today not supposed to get out of the 30s, we probably won't really see any sap running today, but that's okay. This usually has a window of about two weeks, so we'll check on the buckets again tomorrow. So this bucket is actually almost half full. So there's a big difference in how much each tree is giving. Now this is a much bigger tree. This was the last one in the row I think that we had picked. So uh, we'll be coming out again tomorrow to check on these and emptying any that we need to. So we're gonna wrap up this video at this point and we will continue with some more videos on the process of how we're making our maple syrup. So stay tuned for those. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, remember to subscribe, give this video a like, share our video. It really helps our channel out a lot and stay tuned for the next videos to come. Take care, everybody. See ya. Bye.